Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by The Org Boss. The Org Boss is a residential and commercial organizing company that specializes in decluttering, interior design, inventory staging, business processing documentation, and more. Reach The Org Boss today at 832-617-0624 or send an email to info at theorgboss.com. True Digital Media Consulting. You're online right now and so are your customers, but marketing has to be a consistent journey. True Digital Media Consulting can help with your online ads, organic growth, and so much more. Contact us today at 832-934-4436 or visit our website at truedigitalmediaconsulting.com. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at thesphere.tv or call us at area code 832 732-7789. Hey, yo, what's up? It's your girl, Kalia Guillory, also known as KG. And that's right, you landed on the best channel, Startup Masters, right here on the Sphere Network. Listen, we have the dopest content right here for you. Our hosts, as well as my co-hosts, our guests, I should say, as well as my co-hosts, we have skinned up our knee to the white meat. And we're here to share everything so you don't have to do the same thing. You don't have to navigate the bloody waters of entrepreneurship. So listen, if you are considering thinking of or considering starting a a business or going out and venturing your own and, and transitioning away from that corporate gig, or perhaps you've already started your business, Stay tuned for Startup Masters so much so I'm going to challenge you to go out there and hit that subscribe button right now. Again, your, your host, Kalia Guillory, also known as KG. You can catch me on all social media platforms at KOG Speaks. And for my YouTubers out there, you can catch me at KOG Speaks TV. G. What up, though? What up, my dude? What's goody? What up? What up, folks? Welcome back to another episode of Startup Masters. I'm your host, Gary Lee, also known as G Hawkins. Now, look, folks. Y'all already know the drill. Hey. You can find me anywhere online. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, at G Hawkins. That's G Hawkins with the Z. And I've got the chills in my body already because I know oh, what we got coming to the table. You got the chills See, and I back. got the feel. Come on, talk about it. I see you strong over there. I'm so strong. See, I've been sitting at the table chilling, just mm-hmm. absorbing the energy. Mm. I ain't been giving back nothing. I've just mm. been absorbing. I absorbed the hair when they walked in. I've been taking You've been it take in. It. Sit back and take notes. You know, that's, that's what I'm doing. Listen, but I'm ready for an exciting show. You feel me? I know it's okay. going to be exciting. Let's talk about Let it. Let me tell you how I know. Break it down. Almost like what, what Auntie O says. Mm-hmm. You know, my Auntie O, you might know as Oprah Renfrey. <laughs> Yo, Auntie O. I but what you. I know for sure <laughs> is that this show is going to be heavy hitting. Hmm. It's going to be transparent. Yeah. It's going to be full of knowledge. Come it's going on. to be full of the game changing hmm. things that any mover and shaker needs to know. There it oh, is. Geez. You laid it out. <laughs> Show <laughs> over. We, we ain't already caught it. We ain't caught the mic. Yeah, yeah. Holy Ghost. The benediction time, folks. Somebody bring this Somebody benediction. Somebody open the door. <laughs> come, on, come on. They open. They open. They open. Yo, this, this, this guest. Hmm. It's more more than the guest to me. This is a Speak on it. sister, friend, a confidant, uh, accountability partner, <laughs> like a woman of many hats. And I I'm it. I speak for probably many in saying that I'm not the only one that feels this way. Mm-hmm. And you know something happens. You know you are encountering a mover and a shaker when you start to bump into them at certain networking events. Talk about and it. And you're not just bumping into them. They are adding value. They are contributing contributing to not just humanity but the way we operate and connect with each other talk about innovation whenever y'all see who i'm talking about Mm -hmm. you will see the innovative piece there and that's what you want to attract people forget that you got to be the a brand you got to have that appearance for (laughs) what you looking to attract and this young lady 
exudes mm. just that okay gee i can't i can't take it anymore i gotta bring it in <laughs> bring it like, in then. without further without any further ado please welcome me with a round of applause my homie my friend bridget joe <laughs> I love principal that. and ceo of s charles public relations that's what's, what's up. up ah i love that intro Yo, you you box that thing up. Up. <laughs> you're right you're about to take her on the road now. i'm just put, saying put me on the hill pack that. me <laughs> hey come now, on now when you said benediction hmm. you got the collection <laughs> yeah, you gotta pass that oh trust yeah. we got a spot <laughs> right we're gonna hit him with the donation you link it's the coming folks they oh, already now. know come on. Oh, already it's coming. Okay. oh it's coming so I don't know how familiar you are with the show, but first and foremost, thank you so much for gracing the table. And we're about to get in. We're about to dive deep. Yes. What we like to do is take people on that journey. We like to start from the beginning, from the conception of business, work our way through the mud, through the trenches, those trials, tribulations to where you're at today and what you're providing, and then jettison to the future for that 5, 10, 20 year plan. You ready to take this journey, Bridget? Ready to go. <laughs> and thank you for letting me have a seat at the Come table. Come on now. Okay. The door. <laughs> open <laughs> always so for those that are tuned in right now facebook live remember we give you about 15 20 minutes and you want to drop those questions in because this is going to be a fire show and we want to get through everything you want to know as yes. well as the things we want to know because we enjoying the show just like y'all so bridget yes gary hop in this delorean with us hit 88 take us back into time when you said there's something about the the concept of public relations that sticks out to me, and I think I might be on to something. What was going on in your life? What was happening at that moment? You really want to know? I really want to <laughs> know. <laughs> okay. So at the time, I was at uh, 97.9. Okay. No, not 97.9, 97.5 Power. They had just started. So I was working really 24-7. I was planning a wedding. I was building a house. Oh. And I had decided to go back to school for oh, my master's. The you weren't you busy. <laughs> no, the not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Getting it in. Okay. So what happened was, what had happened was, <laughs> when mm -hmm. I was closing on my house, a couple of days I, I missed, but I made sure that they were good. Mm -hmm. And because the person who was supposed to be my backup did not back me up. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, a me and a things message in that fell hey, apart. Real. Yeah, and some things fell apart at the station. They had the audacity, the unmitigated gall. Mm, you, you better talk. Come on. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to write me up. Okay. Dun, so, dun, dun, dun. right. Mm. So I was sitting there and they're telling me all these things. And I'm like, but you know, I was in the process of buying a house. This is not your first time buying a home. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Mm -hmm. Please, you know talk to yeah. me yeah so oh well she didn't do and she didn't do she didn't do okay but how about what i do on a daily basis you yourself said that i'm the heart of the station because at the heart. time i was the traffic manager and the continuity manager mm. so i'm handling everything the commercials the logs i'm voicing commercials for you guys wow. because it was a small station at the time yeah long story short i said i'm not signing that Come on, power. <coughs> Come on, power. Come on, power. Okay. <laughs> None of us signing this. I'm not, zero. <laughs> I'm not signing. Well, you know, regardless, we're going to put it in your record. I said, give me a moment. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. I went into my office. Resonation print. letter. I it was my two weeks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh well, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Oh, sorry. Wait a minute. Because they used to call me Bree back in the day. That's my nickname. People have been knowing me for 10 years or longer. It's Bree. But today it's Bridget, so oh, I'm trying. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was you about know, to slide I was gonna, it in too. Because no, she no, would no, get well, you in a heartbeat, no, no, no. okay? Like, <laughs> she did when I walked in. Together, no, no, no. Like. She got me right when I walked in the door. I was Abs like, well, I absolutely, it absolutely. Mm -hmm. Don't try. From jump. Right. So, uh, oh, 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 pray we, uh, did you, did you, did you, well, we, we, we didn't mean it to go. Uh, with, I mean, let's just let's just calm down. Let's just let's just talk about this. There's mm -hmm. nothing else to talk about because here's what I realized: that I'm here before anybody else gets here, mm. and I leave after everyone else is gone. First mm. day, I have out. a four-year-old, and at the time he started having tantrums because. He didn't know what was going on. We had a routine. I had this new position. Mm -hmm. So I was there longer. So it's like, hey, where's my mom? mom. Yep. So kids are acting out. He couldn't verbalize that. And I realized if I die today, my child doesn't have his mother. Mm. However, you guys can replace me. 
quick i'm replaceable in a, mm-hmm. in a heartbeat and my husband my fiance who's my husband now 15 years shout out <laughs> come on black love come on. <laughs> he can find another person to marry yes mm-hmm. could <laughs> right so she I might not like, be as fly <laughs> <laughs> Speak on it. Down, right. talk about it <laughs> talk about it <laughs> How heard that, Mr. Joe? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, you know, no, this is not worth it. Yeah. And I was missing out on stuff in his little life. And, you know, he's out there. You saw him. Girl he's not so now. little anymore. <laughs> but but I said, you know, I'm doing this for him mm. and myself. This man, I kid you not, this man looked at me with a straight face and said, you can't quit. You just bought a house. He thought she had He you. thought. And I, sir, you ju- <laughs> sir, <laughs> <laughs> sir, I said, just like I was looking for this job, God will provide me with the listen, come on, listen, on faith. Okay, and let me tell you what, we did not miss a beat. Mm, better you count it down. Me? It's funny how he do things. Come on, he will take that mess and hmm. give you a straight up message. Okay. Ooh. Talk about it. You did not <laughs> miss a beat, did and I'm beat. I'm I'm guessing that that next that next juncture of the road was better than than where you were with this situation. Absolutely. Now I'm not saying that the struggle was not there, sure. because anything worth having is a struggle. Absolutely. And you have to be patient. You have to do your research, mm-hmm. and if you make a mistake, you know, mm, I really don't call them mistakes. I just call them decisions. Yeah. Rather they're they turn out good or not so good yep. there's something good that comes out of yep. it totally if Learning you don't dwell mm-hmm. in the negative of that particular decision that you made own up to it and keep it moving hmm. i had the support of my husband fiance husband now and we went for it so i started out as a freelance journalist oh because i have a broadcast journalism degree okay so i said okay let me you know hustle so i was writing at the time for maybe five or six different entities that's how i was contributing to the income Mm -hmm. and then one day a friend of mine started a company called we solve she has her juris doctorate and so she was like hey you know i need to you know so always keep my relationships not contacts you better put jim relationships we're gonna put a pin right there because (laughs) you all you've got to have your digital pad and pin ready when these gems drop like that they gotta be dropping out the sky they they drop like rain be able to respect the relationships you build and keep those things intact. You've got to put fertilizer down. You've got to got to work that field to make sure that that plant grows because there's going to come a time for harvest. Is your plant ready? Mm. You ready for harvest? Come on, we got to talk about it. Come on. I mean, I'm just saying. Oh, I'm just saying. You got to be ready for harvest. You had a lot of things you were juggling. Mm-hmm. Sounds like I was a uh, new relation or a new, new marriage or mm-hmm. just a marriage well, planning a wedding. planning a wedding. Mm-hmm. You just built a house. I know what involves whenever you you got to go ground through that oh, from the ground up. You got blue tape all over the place. <laughs> You're going back and forth and with the yeah. underwriter come and on. you want to pull your hair. Yeah, come on. Finally, you just be like, forget it. Nah, I quit. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> And then now you are embarking on establishing relationships with di- with five, you said, different mm-hmm. entities. Mm-hmm. But what I'm willing to guess is that you had some processes and time management down pat. Am I right? Yeah. Believe it or not. Well, <laughs> listen, if you are thinking, how did our friend here juggle all that? I've got an option for you. And this happened to be that this portion of the show is sponsored by the org boss. Has the clutter in your home or office gotten out of hand? Are you sick and tired of spending way too much time trying to find the things you need on a daily basis? If so, then give the org boss a call so that she can help you create organized, functional systems that match your personal lifestyle. The Org Boss is a residential and commercial organizing company that specializes in decluttering, home staging, interior design, space planning, inventory staging, and business process documentation for growing businesses looking to formally document their procedures. Call the Org Boss today at 832-617-0624 or send an email to info at theorgboss.com. That's info at T-H-E-O-R-G-B-O-S-S dot com. Okay, we got to pick it back up. We got to unpin that pin. <laughs> yes. Talk about, let's get Come back on. to this tribe, these relationships that you were able to tap into as if you didn't skip a beat. 
Right. So whenever you leave somewhere, whatever you're doing, keep those relationships intact. And although my boss at the time, who was the GM, who told me that I couldn't quit because mm. I just bought a house, mm. we still remained in, in good standing. You know, I didn't get rude. I didn't get belligerent, indignant, you know, and I kept that relationship. So when this young lady said that she wanted to start this company, I jokingly said, you know what? I can get you on TV, radio, just magazine, like, just not like, like, because of the relationships. Yeah. Mm. And, and just so I wrote a press release real quick, sent it to my relationships that I had in those th- three different areas. And they were like, hey, this is great. Let's have her on. And I'm like, wait, for real? <laughs> <laughs> wait, Are you whoa. serious? <laughs> that was too easy. That right. <laughs> I was like, seriously? Mm-hmm. And they're like, yeah, this is great. Da, da, da. And so they're reading and asking her questions right from my press release. Wow. And I'm like, wait a minute. That's my <laughs> press release. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got something here. Right. Yep. And so it was like, ding, 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 ding. And then you know how when you're younger in life, mm. when the Holy Spirit gives you a vision or tells you something. When I was in a senior in high school, I said that I was going to start my own PR firm. Completely forgot that I said that. Mm. Wow. And he brought it back to my memory. Come on, fruition. How many years later? Come on. It was some years later. Boom. <laughs> Come on. However, fruition. because I was ready. Yeah. You were ready. I was ready. That's the key. You were ready. I was ready. Because he won't give you nothing that you're not ready for. You had mm-hmm. to be real. You had to part ways from the radio yeah. station. And then you had to probably. Not not the radio station. From working for someone working else. Working for someone. Mm. That's that's it yeah part ways from working for someone yeah. else yep. and then you had to spruce up the journalism piece because exactly. you would need it for your press release exactly and then that's the, the key too because as you are an entrepreneur what what separates you is that most of us are crazy think about it yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, work yeah. long hours <laughs> oh, yeah. because we're willing Quite. to do we're willing to do what cool other people it. will not do that's yeah. it yeah and that's what makes you an entrepreneur. There was this meme I saw on Instagram. This person in, it says uh, an entrepreneur is someone who jumps off the cliff mm-hmm. and fixes the parachute on the way down. <laughs> that's, that's about and right. And that's about right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because but sometimes you got to leave that cliff. You right. have to. Time. You have to jump. You know, mm-hmm. and Steve Harvey says that you have to jump. And a lot of times it's fearful. So it was fearful. But I could not let that fear overtake me. Yes, I had the support of my husband, but this was fiance, but this was something that I had to do for me. Yeah. And juggling with being that mom, about to be a wife, mm. new homeowner, and you know, feeling my way <laughs> to be an entrepreneur, it was tough. So I will not lie to you and say that it's easy. Oh, it was easy. No, no. It was a struggle, but it was worth having. And I learned along the way speaking of struggles Mm -hmm. what are some of those things that you was like oh this is a learning (laughs) child like i can write a book they can write a play child perry can come down himself and write a play on this thing right here so a a big struggle for me and it still is somewhat but i've had to because you know how you're good and you're blessed in certain areas well math wasn't always my greatest forte Meaning with the finances, with the QuickBooks and the accounting mm-hmm. pieces, okay? <laughs> that I'm a creator. I'm a writer. I am a, you know, creator. That's me. Mm. I mean, the hair. Come on. <laughs> sure. You know, I have my own sense of style. Do. But th- that accounting stuff, I-, I ran away from it. And then the other struggle was, was when you do the work and the clients wouldn't pay. Mm. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Let's peel that back, that onion you back. Want to peel that onion back? Yeah, like tell us like a particular. You and we, we for confidentiality, we don't have to name who, but right, 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 just right, right. situation of wait, like, how did you, how did you overcome that? Like what happened? Somebody you delivered work, services were rendered, mm-hmm, and unfortunately mm-hmm. that check was not cut. Like right. what was the biggest takeaway learning lesson, and how did you make sure that that wouldn't happen again? And, and, you know, it's a struggle, so I had to go back and restructure. So I, I was listening to Terry Watson uh, last week, and if you guys don't know who he is, look him up. He's amazing. But Terry Watson said, whenever something happens, make sure it never happens again. Mm. Mm. So I made sure I put piece, things in place. So I went back to the drawing board. Yep. Okay, how do we do this pricing? How do we make sure that, you know, you get your your money so you pay me up front? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> up front. 
then services will be rendered because I'm in a service based business. Sure. And unfortunately for what I do, once the ball starts rolling, I can't really pull the plug because my brand is at stake <sighs> and I'm not going to, you know, suffer, let my brand suffer because a client did not come through. And most people are like, oh, just just don't, you know, don't do the interview. Don't do this. Don't do that. But see, when you build these relationships and, you know, the producers call or yep. the uh, anchors call and say, hey, you remember your client? Can you have them come on? Da, da, da. And I'm like, oh, you know, they didn't pay last month, so I can't have them come. I'm professional. Yeah, and you quite. can't do that. And so I would still let them come on. And then it was like, oh, wow. Um, do you think we could pick? No, no, no. Now, mind you, we've already parted ways. Mm -hmm. And I call them. I do media training. We still do the media training with them. We still give them the talking it's points. Character. And integrity on my part. It is Indeed. character and integrity all the way. Indeed. Oh. Yeah. You, you, it's amazing as an entrepreneur how much we sow into our business hmm. for unbillable hours. Things that we continue to do to ensure that the brand has the longevity that it needs. Are you doing that for your brand? Hmm. Are you picking up these gems that are being dropped at this table right now to take your business to the next level? And I see you. I see you, Kaylin. Tune in. I see you, Day hey, Apollo. Kaylin. I see you, uh, Annette uh, Conley. I see. Or is that Annette? Yeah, Conley. It's a bunch of other people that sh chimed in. But look, Facebook Live. Kaylin said facts. Facts. <laughs> brand that's, awareness, that's self awareness. Right there. Yeah, Kaylin's a G. He, he is a G. Host yeah. of sure. G is for gentlemen here on the network. Host of Society Now. That man there. A new fall got a new child on the way that brother's doing it oh man. congratulations yeah, yeah. Guys. status k is popping everything's popping over there with kaylin but facebook livers we love you we support y'all because y'all support us but guess what folks hey we want to give you a little bit of the show so you've got to go subscribe head over to the sphere.tv forward slash startup masters we've got a couple of options for you you can find us on itunes google play soundcloud youtube stitcher spreaker we're in iHeartRadio. you can even listen to us in your kitchen on your amazon alexa we're everywhere now while you're there make sure you give us some constructive criticism we want to know if we're building a great show that continues to sow into you so hit those stars hit those hearts hit those like buttons also, share it out. Share it with your family, your friends, your colleagues. Share it with your loved ones. Share it with your haters. Share it with anyone and everyone so that they know that they can find the entrepreneur gems to take their business to the next level. And last but not least, and I think you mentioned this earlier about that collection plate. Come on, play. So we'll see. So it. We've got some donation so options, folks. So head over to sphere.tv forward slash donate. We've got a couple of options. You can donate one time right on the website. We've had a couple of people do that, and we're going to send out some love gifts back to you all for that. And, of course, if you want to donate on a continual basis, use our Patreon link, and we're going to get you exclusive content that's just for you. So. Once again, the show's not over, folks, but make sure you subscribe right here at The Sphere. So let's keep this party rolling. I Talk to us today. Where is Brigitte <laughs> Joe at today? What services can people expect to get from your brand? So where is Bridget Joe today? Today I am more established and we t made 16 years this month. Congratulations. This Congratulations. That's Thank huge. You. That's yes. my line number. 16 yeah. oh, is going to okay. be a year for you. All right then. You just threw that out there. <laughs> you made that connection. <laughs> that that <laughs> Why not? I <laughs> received that. Do I that. <laughs> <laughs> and so now, so as you know, that to stay relevant, you have to make changes. Very true. So in order to stay relevant, I certified as Charles Public Relations. So now we're certified with the city of Houston. Whoa. We're vendors with, um, time. with HCC, Fort Bend ISD, also hub certified. So that means with the state of Texas, the work mm -hmm. on colleges and universities, things like that. Also SAM certified with the government. And just, I just need to say this, guys, the government spends money last year in 2015 for my services they spent 237 million 
dollars wow. for PR service for PR services just last year just last in 2015. 2015 so last year I don't know the numbers for last year but I know it was crazy so it's doable wow and that's another one of those things in those areas that you have to really really just be patient and work it because I just certified the business in 2016 and city of Houston also certified with them so those certifications are free the um, WBEA you know it's a 250 dollar HMSDC is 250 so we've done that so moving in a different realm also work with um, nonprofits, and then you know, of course, I like fashion, beauty, sports, mm-hmm. entertainment, and politics. Okay. Believe it or not, so we had it. yeah, yeah, and so we do the full servicing. If you've never been on TV, we do media training. Even if you have been on TV, you haven't had media training by S. Charles PR. Talk okay, about it. so as again, I said my brand. See, if I put S. Charles PR first. You'll always look good. Mm. Come on. I love that. was a tagline right there. That was it. <laughs> We're going to have to cut that up. We're going to have to cut that and put Something. that on. Woo. So, so we do that. And then also, like I said, we do the talking points to make sure that you're not on TV with the, um, mm. you know, DNA staring. Yeah, DNA it happens. Like. It and it was so funny because I was asking uh, Kalia before we started. I recently did an interview on Fox 26. And people who saw the interview were like, Wow. You were so poised and you didn't say um and well and uh and I was kind of like I'm a well, trained yeah. professional. <laughs> I was I, like baby. um <laughs> well <laughs> uh, I, you know <laughs> that would have kind of made me look bad and and kind of you know what what's the word I'm looking for be um what is it uh Oh, I can't think of the word, but you know, well, yeah, I'm professional, <laughs> but then you can't be like a expert in your craft. If, yeah. if I'm not, if you, yeah, yeah. cause I mean, right. I would hire you be like, Oh, she got her stuff together. But yeah. if you, you PR, but you on here saying, um, and like more than I am, then right. that's like you walking through here and I can't podcast. <laughs> 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 what you mean? I can't podcast. <laughs> I mean, that's just like for ladies. That's just like going to a hairstylist and her hair is jacked up. Come on. You Ain't think you about to do, no, no. split who? Ain't nobody doing that. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. So yeah, so now you know we're getting into more commentating and uh, you know doing different things to get our clients out there. As our tagline is working to get you noticed. Awesome. So now, that's what we do. Now I know that going through these processes, mm-hmm. that there are things that are happening in the real world. You've talked about at the time that infancy moving into that brand new home, moving into this brand new business, you know, raising a beautiful son, you know, growing your seed up and watching him grow through fruition. But while you're steady sowing into all these different areas, all these different places, how are you sowing back into self? What are you doing to keep your batteries recharged? So believe it or not, I wake up every morning at 3 a.m every morning i don't care what time i go to sleep so i try to go to sleep between eight nine o'clock that was my next question sometimes it happens bang. sometimes <laughs> it doesn't if bedtime is about to yeah. disappoint you yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have to cut this yeah. short three, no 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 but but between three and four every mm-hmm. morning then i get up i pray i meditate and then i go run so i had injured myself a couple of years ago so i'm just now getting back into it but running for me is clarity mm-hmm. you know Same i just here. lose it and i just i run at memorial and if I don't run, then I, I have a spin bike that my husband bought me. I love my husband, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so I work out. I'll do yoga, Pilates, stuff like that. But I, I get You're a workout something. in. And that re- re-energizes me. That's my me time. Mm. And then after that, I'm ready. I come home, take a shower, replenish myself with some sustenance. Mm-hmm. And then I'm out the door. Now, we're empty nesters. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so now, you know, my time's not split anymore, yeah. you know, and it's so funny because the boy, that's what we call him, the boy, he's actually a man child. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's here for spring break and it's been a little wobbly because I'm like, ugh, the boy is here. He's <laughs> still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when is he going to get a bite? Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't, can't wait to take you to go school. back to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's the time for you to go back to school, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Messing with my vibe mm-hmm. here. But, but yes, that's how I pour that's back into me. And, yes. and, and I think that's such a necessary piece. For mm-hmm. those that are tuned in right now, if you're sitting at home watching this on Apple TV or you're sitting in traffic, you're listening to this on SoundCloud somewhere, make sure you're sowing into self. You can't, and we've said this all the time, KG, you cannot pour from an empty cup you've got to sew back into yourself especially as an entrepreneur because you're constantly being pulled left and right and you're fixing that parachute on On the the way way down down. so and and to make sure you can properly 
fix the parachute on the way down we subscribe to this <laughs> you got to make sure yep. you protect your creative space that's right so you have to sew in the cell but you also have to make sure that you are protecting that creative space like it's nobody biz mm-hmm. nobody's business that's right. because you know the, mo- the moment somebody taps into it that shouldn't be there who's not authorized to tap into that space it's going to throw you off it's going to throw you off so yeah. how do you how do you navigate protecting that that sacred space it, it took me a, a long time to figure that out you know because i'm <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> two years away from <laughs> well all right you Jeez, need the water. Take us some water here what's up <laughs> What's going on with the air? Like, Hi, mm-hmm. baby. <laughs> but but that's really good. And it's about surrounding yourself with genuine people. Mm. And as long as I've been in business, after a while, you kind of know who's pulling at you just because they want something. Mm. And they're not giving back. Mm. Because it, it goes both ways. Sure. Reciprocity. You know, reciprocity. Come on. And let me add something here. When you were saying sewing into yourself, Please, people, sew into your business. One day a week, I work on the business, in the business. Because you can work in the business, and that's what we get, you know. But I work on the business. You have to take yourself out and go to different events. Network, 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 network. I can't say it enough. Build relationships when you network. Don't just go and get a business card. What is the point? You Mm -hmm. wasted some time. Wasting time. Find something in common with that person. Mm -hmm. Remember something about that person. When I call and follow up after I send a press release, and if I'm talking to a producer or a reporter, hey, how's your kid? What what are they, five now? Yes. How did you know that? Mental. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want something from me. I want something from you. But at the same time, that reciprocity (sighs) is there. So I just, yes, I want to get my client on, but I also yeah. care about you and how you're doing. And that was the word, care. You care. sprinkle the little care on top of that thing. That's it. Because I'm on. not just walking up to you with my hand out. Like, I want you to win just as much as yeah. I want to win. And matter of fact, right. I might sew into you first. Right. With That's no right. with no, no desire strings attached. for anything back. Just because of who I am as a person That's right. goes back to integrity. That's right. It does. It, it speaks on so many different levels, especially from working in the business and on the business, because mm-hmm. you spoke a lot in the beginning how you got to make sure you're staying current you got to mm-hmm. stay relevant stay relevant and i think we forget like we come up with these incredible ideas and then we forget like we still need to reinvent the business yep. or we need to grow the business and keep up with current events or what's That's going right. on and one of the things that we got to make sure we do is that we smile along the journey i mean because what's the point if we never smiling yeah but you can't smile if your teeth are jacked up that's very true <laughs> And speaking very, of, very true. this portion of the show is sponsored by my good Whoa, friends love that segue. <laughs> at Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, our vision is to create a welcoming practice that will offer exceptional dental care and a lifetime of dental wellness. We are committed to the finest possible oral care and the overall health and well-being of our patients. Elite Dental Wellness is built upon a foundation of integrity expertise, and service. Through our commitment to modern dentistry, continuing education, and a friendly atmosphere, we strive to make our patients feel that they are a part of our family. Dentistry can be scary, daunting, and uncomfortable. Dr. Batiste and her team work tirelessly to ensure your comfort. Make your appointment today, like right now, with Dr. Ashandra Batiste at Elite Dental Wellness by calling 713-789-8680. Shout out. And if you are also looking for some content on docs, check out our homie. Dr. Batiste yep. on docs at the sphere.tv forward Boom. slash docs. She's killing it over there. Killing it. Mm-hmm. So awesome. we've talked about where you came from, mm. which is always important because we can never forget that. Right. We've talked about the services that are being delivered today and how you're continuing to protect that creative space as well as so back into the business so that it can grow. Mm-hmm. Network, network, network. Yep. But talk to us about where you see that network you're building, where you see all these hours, these 10,000 hours that you've surely put in. Shout out to 16 years worth of service. Thank you. Thank you. 2050. Ooh. 2060. Ooh. S. Charles. 
<laughs> in the big lights. <laughs> w- what does that look like to you? hit you with the 50 and the Come on. Like, I'm over here like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we in uh, we're talking, we're talking one. legacy. <laughs> Carry the one. Carry the one. Yes. <laughs> We talking legacy at this table. Talk to us. What does that look like for you in the future? Well, for me in the future is out there. Is is that 20 year old and he is um uh, the the values and the different things that I've instilled in him will go a long way. Of course, you know, I want to leave him an inheritance cuz the word says leave an inheritance for your children's mm. children's children's Come on, Talk generation about that means well, his children and his children's children's children. Eat. Children's. Yeah. keep it going yes. eating right so that's the one thing i want to make sure is that you know he's taken care of financially when we pass i did ask him did he want the business he's like no mom that's your thing <laughs> so that, that's fine for now for now that's fine but i would like to grow it and sell it hey ain't nothing wrong with that put it on extra the strategy exchange. hey come on ipo come on, stock I hear you. 20 50 60 i plan on being on a beach somewhere come, come on <laughs> with my man <laughs> hey come on mr joe you know all of it strutting and everything you gotta do that <laughs> but sewing into you know our son has been a very very important thing for me because when i left that job that was the thing that i started doing so that was my drive at that time Mm. and it it continues to be that way and when people say your son is such a mannerable young man he's such a smart young man he's this he's that i say i know (laughs) no seriously it's true i know because they expect you to say oh well thank you no 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 i know because he has home training yeah and he has good business acumen (sighs) he can hold a conversation with you and with you and you'll be like man that young man is smart yeah and he's a great debater yes he goes to wiley shout out wiley Mm -hmm. he's on the debate team which we talked about before so that what i see in him is that legacy because it came from me Mm. to instill into him those Mm. values Mm. integrity character reciprocity all of those things are important to me because that will carry on in him and then in his children and so on and so forth and that's what we're losing today oh mm, very true it's that stock and trade yeah i mean because that's what really what we're getting at yeah. like we forget stock and trade necessarily isn't currency Mm-mm. it's everything you just mentioned right and actually knowledge <laughs> is the new money come on that's the currency it's, it's not this it's the knowledge that yeah. you have because the knowledge just like i shared with you that's going to get you money oh, oh yeah like yeah, five minutes com- right <laughs> five minutes right. in, i'm like oh done dot right. connected that's it right because now i'm a part of your legacy right and now i gotta go making sure i'm gonna go out and represent mm-hmm. your brand because i respect your legacy thank you and i respect yours yeah and see i mean that's that's what we got to get at especially yeah. in our community i like, respect both of y'all legacy <laughs> <laughs> i just want i'm gonna get in on that you want to get in on, i'm sorry garrett i mean we just gotta look around and we're part of this <laughs> right because <laughs> like, i'm a part of this now it's a light work <laughs> okay we, we're exactly doing it. We, we, we've built a, a platform a vehicle Absolutely. a vehicle for those to get their dreams out um but i think that you hit the head on a nail when you talk legacy. I think a lot of times people, as an entrepreneur, they get caught up in the grind so much and they're so concerned about the bottom line yeah. that it's hard for them to envision what's life like five years from now because mm-hmm. they're, they're constantly working at meeting payroll five minutes from mm-hmm. now, paying rent you know, three d- weeks from now, all these other things that are hitting them left and right that they don't have the opportunity to step away from it and think, what do I want this to look like, you know, 20 moons later? Yeah. Who, who do I want to invest in? If I don't have children, who do I want to sow into to take to that next level? It. Because it can't just be for me. I can't take this to my grave. What, right. what am I doing this for? And I say this, I give this monologue to that entrepreneur that's listening right now. Whatever you build today, it's not for today. You need to be thinking for tomorrow. You can never think about today because at that moment, you have already expired you, that too time. Too late. Yep. Yes. It's already gone. So you've got to always be a step ahead of yourself in thought process and getting your work flows together and that's what we're hearing today you know, that's, that's what it. it's about build that thing with the end in mind come on that's now it. Build that's it with it. The come end on in mind. that way the journey is so much sweeter oh it's so sweet so much sweeter because imagine i mean i feel like none of us are out just to achieve the amount 
a wealth that we can't work for someone else in a job, but you achieve that wealth when you work for self. Mm. And if you build it with the end in mind, I would think and gather that we are on to be multi-billionaires Come on. with a B. Come on. So if I build it with the end in mind, I've got infrastructure in place today so that when I am a billionaire, Ooh, I brand- don't have to scramble. Come on. It can support itself. Ah, Built it to support that. Passive (laughs) income, baby. And to add on what you said, you will not be intimidated or jealous of anyone else. Oh, Mm. speak on it. Yeah. Because you are so busy building your legacy that you don't have time to look at this one over here and what she or he is doing or what they have. Mm. You know, what you're doing, what you guys are doing is awesome, collectively and separately. So I'm a part of your legacy now, and I appreciate this platform that you've developed and created for people like me who look like me. So then little girls who look like me Woo! can Speak say, wow, on. if Man. she can do it, I can do it. Speak on it. We ain't on a lane. We on a freeway. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Talk, about <laughs> Talk about it. Talk about it. <laughs> Talk about it. But Come on, G. I've got he button one, that button. I've got one last one for you though. Okay, bring it. So, Bridget. Yes. Gary. <laughs> we're talking legacy. Mm-hmm. Leaving something for that great debater's great grandkid. But that idea, the con- the conceptualism of all of these things, mm-hmm. if we start to reel that tape back. If we start to put those business cards back into the hand, the five-year-old child that you remembered from that initial conversation, back into that person's mouth. Everything that, every moment you've spent with someone building the networks you've built and continue to rewind it all the way back through that person saying, you know what, you might want to keep this job because you just got a new house Hmm. taking you all the way back to when you were concerned about being to work on time to put a dime in somebody else's pocket Hmm. all the way back to that moment with the remembrance of everything you've done Mm -hmm. but this time we hand you some seed money how would you build s charles this time around in a different way that you built it the first time Wow, that is an excellent question. And a lot of times entrepreneurs, the biggest thing is capital. So that Mm. seed money would be great and it would be well spent because I would look at an accountant (laughs) Mm. or or some tools to make sure that I had the accounting right. Make sure that I invested in myself with some knowledge, business classes or business, something to invest in me to make sure I ran this business correctly. And, And don't get me wrong. I I really appreciate every experience that I've had, good, bad, and ugly, and different, however you want to look at it, because it helped me to grow Mm -hmm. as a businesswoman and as a woman today. And so with that seed money, I would just probably, it would just be easier for me to take that, to, you know, to go through those hoops a little bit easier because I had the seed money, you know, joining chambers and making sure that I had was in the right places, you know, to get a seat at the table Mm. and to grow the business from the ground up. Because a lot of times we don't have seed money. Very true. We really don't. Yep. You know, I would get the business account. I would get the LLC. I would get all of those things that needed to be there to help me grow. However, Hmm. I really appreciate the path that I've been on because it helped me to know what I do want Mm -hmm. and what I don't want. Mm. So I don't know if I would take your seed money. We (laughs) had somebody push it back before. Boom. Have that. that Put it back in the bank. bank. We'll collect a little interest. (laughs) Because, because, (laughs) and I say that. That makes complete sense though. It would be too easy. Mm. Mm. You understand? When things are handed to you and you didn't have to work for it, you don't appreciate it. Oh, oh. that's true. But when you that's have to hook. work that's for something. Hook. Like my dollar versus your dollar. Come on. Yeah. And when th- when it hit me, I was like, wait a minute. Why am I busting my tail putting money in someone else's? I My check would be the same. Mm-hmm. Regardless of how much I do or do not work. Mm-hmm. My check is the same. If I'm going to work this hard for you, why not do it for myself? Surely I can do it for me. Come on. So to be quite honest with you, I might just have to get that seed Ooh, money back to you, bro. We'll Thank it. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. However, the experience is priceless. As it always should be. Experience is priceless. This was it. 
Mrs. <laughs> Mic drop moment. <laughs> Bam. Mrs. Bridget Joe, we would like to officially coin you, my dear, a startup master. Oh. Thank you so oh, yeah. much for being here at the table Woo-hoo. today. For anyone that's watching this right now or listening right now, please make sure to give them every piece of social media, any website information that that way they can reach out to you. On Instagram, it's at S Charles PR. Facebook is S Charles PR. Twitter is at the PR specialist. And my uh, website is www.scprelations.com. And I have a YouTube channel, Life of a Publicist. It's and dope. also, <laughs> thank you, thank you. So it's KG Speaks. But anyway, TV, <laughs> KG Speaks TV. And then also, um, I'll be starting S. Charles Public Relations uh, YouTube channel where I'll just have little brand tips on a daily basis nice oh, I like well. that yeah make sure yeah. you subscribe to that that's a drip yeah. that's a drip campaign in this yeah, it sure I'm is just <laughs> i'm just saying kg where can the good people reach you at my dear the good people you can catch me on the gram linkedin as well as the book on at kog speaks and for my youtubers it's kog speaks tv what about you g so for anyone looking for me anywhere online facebook instagram twittering snapchatting <laughs> at g hawkins that's g hawkins with the z of course you got any questions about what we do each and every week at this show shoot us an email startup masters at the sphere.tv or hit us across any social media platform at the sphere tv use our coveted hashtag startup masters and we will definitely get back with you this has been another great episode of startup masters we will see you all next time take care